Good morning. I thought today I would lighten it up a little bit. Yesterday was pretty dark in terms of decks. It was actually one of the brightest days of the year, I think, based on how much my skin got burnt. Well, I don't really burn, but it kind of, you know, kind of glow in the dark sort of thing. Let's see if I can get this right. I never spend enough time right at this part, and it affects the entire video. It's true, it's true. Do the finger test. Yep. Yep. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This finger's not showing up. There it is. Okay. So, what we're looking at here, the third time I've ordered this, if I have a video out there, I guess I have to delete it. But um, <clears throat> this is the Ghosts and Spirits Tarot by Lisa Hunt. It's a U.S. game system deck from U.S. Games. And that's the box. And if you look at it, this is how it came. It wasn't covered in plastic. It's mangled. And I guess I don't care. It's a box, right? I don't care, but it kind of kind of makes you wonder and the cards are laid out really weird and it if, This is a full card, but if you look at it This side looks dirty now. Maybe they all look this way, but there's a, a smell to it and One of the two I ordered before one was covered in oil some kind of oil I guess if I was in Ghostbusters or something, that would be ectoplasm. Is it ectoplasma or ectoplasm? I don't know. One of those things. <laughs> It'd be that green gel they were always get coming up against. But that's where the backs look like, which seems to all of a sudden get really cartoony. So I'm guessing the omen, if there is one, since I'm having trouble getting a deck that's in even decent shape, is that I shouldn't have the deck. So, I guess I won't have the deck. But this is lighter than Demons, so I thought I would show this. From now on, I think uh, most of my dark decks are vampires, which to me aren't that all that dark. I started reading that, what was the book? Phantasmagoria? Which is actually pretty good, even though it has some of those, um, what do you call it? What would I call them? I would call them leaps of faith when someone writes something and all of a sudden you've hopped from this rock to that rock. But no explanation of how you would get from that rock to that rock, just that you're on that other rock now and you should go along with it don't really like that and I probably didn't explain that very well but there's this extra card in there and I don't know I thought it was swords but it's, it doesn't seem to be anything except somebody's head and then some ghostly head and plus I, I really don't think I would use this this would be like I don't know something nice to have around at Halloween maybe but here's the trumps in the usual seven rows after this, it gets unusual. Because <laughs> this is the order that came in the box. And every time, all three have come in this order. So let me make sure I get this to where all corners are clearly visible. As you can see, it's like, what is this one? It starts with the king. And then goes down to... Then goes down to the ace, or I guess some people would say up to the ace, but it's, to me it's down to the ace. And then it starts at 10 and goes down. That might be the most realistic looking person in the entire thing. But isn't that weird? King, ace, 10, 2. Why? I kind of like this card because <laughs> it looks mighty painful doesn't it he's, he's either putting something in or taking something out of that guy's poor guy's head poor guy or girl or it 
that was the wands, by the way, which I'm not seeing much in the way of fire there, but that's okay. Won't be keeping this one, that's for sure. <laughs> Put this back in the box. Get you out of the way. The, not much to the book. I didn't show the book. There's not much to it. Although it does go longer than a lot of little white books. In terms of meanings for each card. Again, the weird layout. This is the swords. Uh, okay. Let's move on to the cups. I might do the vampires outside because you know, you know how vampires are about sunlight. Well, not the kind in Twilight. They sparkle. <laughs> not sure I want my vampires to sparkle, but all the kids really love those. They actually read the books, which I'm like, Phew, these kids don't read. What's up with that? All their friends read the books. So I guess you can give the lady credit for getting some people to read. The Cups and the Pentacles. I don't remember her name. I just remember that she liked the band Muse for some reason. Probably because they gave their music to her movies. I don't know. A lot of posing in those movies, but hey, that's what vampires do best. They pose and become hypnotic, right? And then you fall for them every time. I'm not sure why I found that interesting. Snake. Stream. And lots of gnarly roots. Hmm. So, that was a hopefully quick look at the Ghosts and Spirits Tarot, which I will not be keeping, as it's not meant to be based on the condition that they arrive in. I just can't. What is with that? What What's up with that? <laughs> anyway, I'll say peace.